Hey, I'm Tati back again with another video. In today's video, we'll be doing another analyzing with Oh Your Name Tati, okay? So, we're going to be doing a little, you know, we're going to be doing a little, uh, it's not really flirty. It's more of a realization of what the fuck is going on, you know? Season two, episode 18. I'm sweating. That's what we're gonna be doing, okay? So let's get right into it. Click. How do you feel? Different. Pals. Look at this girl twiddling that little ring around. When did she decide to start wearing that again, okay? This is episode 18. Barry gave her that replica of her mother's wedding band last season, girl, episode nine. When did she stop wearing that ring? When did she stop wearing it? After Barry told her how he felt? Or, hmm, that's a good question. When did she stop? Did she stop wearing it immediately? And then she started wearing it back in episode 18? I don't know, girl. I don't know. Comment down below if you know when Iris stopped wearing Barry's uh, necklace that he gave her. Comment down below. Click. Mm-hmm. Girl, she is twiddling that little thing, girl. Like it's a wet, like it's a real wedding ring. Like this is my man, and he's gonna be my man. Like, girl, mind you, this is the same episode that Iris had the conversation with Caitlyn talking about, like, girl, like, I feel somewhere about Barry, but, like, don't tell nobody. But actually, Caitlyn had to pull it out of her, like, girl, I seen how you've been looking at Barry. I used to look at him the same, but they went in a different direction. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm being so messy. Anyway, um, yeah, girl, that's what they were saying. And... Iris and Caitlyn had a little conversation, like they was best buds or whatever, and then nothing ever came of that. And so she was like, yeah, I do feel some way about Barry, so But yeah, she wearing, wearing his ring and shit, okay. And I wonder if he paid attention, like, I, I wonder what would have happened if he said, like, I see you wearing the ring, like, what would have happened? Like, what would she have said? I don't know, let's go. Exactly. See, pause again. That's what I'm talking about. As you guys uh, noticed back in my video from Tuesday, last Tuesday, you guys, no, this Tuesday, you guys noticed that I was saying that season two, uh, first half of season two, and it seems like the second half now as well, when Iris was in Star Labs, all she would do was ask questions they would explain to her what it is and she would give an example that's all they did with iris's character it's like they didn't know what else to write for her like they didn't know what to do for her character besides her love interest that they finally decided to do in season two they 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 just didn't know how to write her like and it pissed me off of the fact that she became like the the questionnaire type of character on the show because it, it, it was it, it wasn't a good look it really wasn't continue Oh yeah, pals. This is when they did the little Supergirl crossover when uh, Supergirl was on NBC and they was bringing in 9 million views. That's true T. Look it up. <laughs> it's when they actually had a black character be a love interest. That's true T too. Look it up. <laughs> oh, I'm being so messy, girl. Let's continue. You annihilated. Oh God, Harry. Oh, you're not gonna let that happen. Pause. You know what? It, Harry was never my favorite. He was never my favorite, but he wasn't the worst either. I, I felt like Harry brought... Damn, what did Harry bring? I, shit, I don't know. What did Harry bring to the table? I mean, yes, he was smart, but really kind of didn't need Harry you know we definitely needed Harry for them to introduce Jesse which they ruined that character as well but after that we didn't kind of really didn't need Harry I liked HR because HR 
brought a different type of feel to the show because yes the show in season three was so dark honey it was so dark but yet it's meant for children but they showed iris getting stabbed like four or five times but the show was meant for kids i don't know um but i love the dynamic between cisco and hr i love the dynamic between hr and pretty much everyone on the show and i think that tom had a lot of fun playing hr than probably any other character just saying play Yeah, Zoom was Zoom was by far one of my favorite uh, villains, besides Roar Flash. Tom's girl, they so awkward together. Like he was like, "Oh, we could use your help. Where you going?" He never asked where she was going before. Why he asking now? You don't got them privilege, Barry. You ain't her man. body language is everything why did he shrug and say oh that's good yeah good good body language is the tea honey he's shrugging like all right like whatever you really about to go out with this dude okay but his mouth is saying oh yeah that's great but his body is saying man fuck this shit <laughs> and she just her body language is the same with his he got his hands placed like this and he shrugged she got her hands like this with her shoulders up body language even though I feel like he was being truthful about her moving on. Pause! Damn it, I miss her facial expression. Let's take it back right there. Look, it's like, it's it, in this scene, it kind of felt like she didn't really want to meet his eyes. Like, it seemed like she was avoiding eye contact with him. Like, she didn't want to, like, she didn't want to, look at him for too long because she felt like she might say something or do something out of the ordinary i don't know uh but she like girl she's like oh yeah like i wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for your help like he didn't help that much girl like he gave you a little video to get over eddie and then he told you yeah like eddie would want you to date me but <clears throat> what nothing uh, eddie would want you to date other people you know Oh. <laughs> Play. Of course. Girl, why is she leaning into him? Body language. Body language. I'm surprised she ain't doing it by now. <laughs> body language, girl. She's very much leaning in, and he's very much like trying to be cool calm or relaxed you know trying to be like like he don't care and she's just like leaning into the conversation girl play trying to be cute and shit awkward and look at this look at her face she's all girl she went from yeah pencil me in for tomorrow He's like, yeah, sure. Awkward. Like, who does this? Awkward. And then she walking away like, I wonder what, honestly, I really wanted to know what she felt in this moment. Like, I really, really honestly do. She went from, it wasn't even, if, if we take it back a little bit, she wasn't even, she smiled at him. But as soon as she, she turned around, it was like automatic change i wonder i really wonder what she was thinking in, her, in this moment like maybe she was second guessing the date with scott maybe she was nervous about the date i honestly felt like they should have just explored it and let her go on the date and let her realize for herself that scott wasn't the one for her versus her chickening out and then being like oh the reason why i chicken out is because i actually i actually like barry a lot no i wanted her to i wanted her date with Scott to validate a lot of things for Iris. You know, I wanted I wanted that date with Scott not to be a bad date, not to be an awkward date, not to be an embarrassing date, for it to go flawless, for it to be perfect, but yet it wasn't it still not be good enough for her. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I hate storylines where they try to depict I hate storylines like romantic stories where they try to depict a guy that's interested in a girl as like the total bad guy like they kind of made Scott look pretty bad like 
he was against the flash he was against everything related to what iris was trying to do and write uh just for him to ask her out like oh yeah let's go let's go out or whatever and then them kind of i, I feel like if they would have let them go out on a date he would have been the total opposite of what iris wants if I was one of the writers, I would have made Scott perfect. I would have made him perfect for Iris. They have likes and they have dislikes like any couple, any regular couple. You know, at the end of the day, they get along great. I felt like they really should have explored Scott and Iris. I felt like Tom, Tom Bell wasted his fine-ass time with his fine-ass hair and his fine-ass beard and his fine-ass even-ass brown skin and his fine-ass uh, tall-ass. He was just so fine. So fine, girl just a waste just a waste just a waste oh just a waste like why even bring his character i'm so i'm sweating that's how fine he is just a waste of his character that's why i always kind of say like if something weird happened in season two because what was the point of bringing scott's character if it wasn't to make iris realize that she's more in love with barry than she thought she is and she's ready to actually uh move forward in a uh romantic relationship with barry what was the point of scott's character if it was not for the sole reason of that because that's what patty was for if we're gonna be honest patty was for barry to try and move on past iris but at the end of the day realize that he was still held some form of love for her at the end of the day um so that's why I'm like, I don't understand. Like, that's why I always say something weird in season two happened. Something behind the scenes that we don't know. Because that storyline was just very weird. Um, but yeah, like, I wish that Iris would have went on the date with Scott. I wish they would have showed the date with her and Scott. And it went off without a hitch. They had a great conversation. They had banter. They were attracted to each other. He's a good guy. She saw that he was a great guy outside of the fact that they have this uh, disagreement about the Flash and how he is. And then for her to realize at the end of the day that he was perfect, but he just wasn't buried. That's how it should have went, bitch. Play. Her sad ass face. She knows she don't want to go on that date. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and out.